In this lesson, we will learn to resolve complex rational expressions into sum of simple fractions when given rational expression is improper, which means that the degree of polynomial in the denominator is greater than or equal to degree of polynomial in the denominator. Let's get started with the given rational expression. The given rational expression is given expression is 6x cube 6x cube plus 5x square minus 7 divided by 2x square 2x square plus x minus 1 as you can see, the degree of polynomial in the denominator is higher than degree of polynomial in the denominator. So we should first divide so that it becomes a proper rational expression. So let's do a long division and this will be 6x cubed plus 5x squared minus 7 divided by 2x square plus x, 2x square plus x minus 1. For long division, we need to take a look at 2x square and 6x cube. What should we multiply 2x square with in order to get 6x cube? The answer is 3x. So we get 6x cube and plus x times 3x will be plus 3x square which we are going to write under the like term and then minus 1 times 3x because there is no term involving x so we are going to write it on the side minus 3x and then we will change the sign and subtract it this, this, and this. So this will get cancelled. 5x square minus 3x square will be equal to 2x square and this is plus 3x minus 7. And now what should we multiply 2x square plus x minus 1 to get 2x square? So 2x square plus 1 time it's 2x square plus x times 1 would be plus x and minus 1. So what we are left with here is if we change the sign and then add. So this will be cancelled. 3x minus x will be 2x and minus 7 plus 1 is minus 6. Therefore, the expression that was given is in fact equal to 3x plus 1 3x plus 1 plus 2x minus 6 divided by 2x square plus x minus 1 still there is a problem that in the denominator 2x square plus x minus 1 is a quadratic expression. We need to make its factor because in the current uh, discussion we have, all we need to have all the factors in the denominator which are linear and they are not repeating. So let's see if we can factorize this. 2x square plus x minus 1 is equal to 2x square plus 2x minus x minus 1. If you take 2x common, this would be x plus 1 minus 1 and then x plus 1 again. So the two factors we get are x plus 1 into 2x minus 1. Therefore, the given expression which still continues to change gets the form 3x plus 1 plus 
three uh, two x minus six divided by product of two linear factors that is x plus one into two x minus one two x minus one and let's name this equation as equation zero and we will resolve this 2x minus 6 over x plus 1 into 2x minus 1 into partial fraction and put value back into equation 0. So now 2x minus 6 over x plus 1 into 2x minus 1 this can be written as a over x plus 1 just like the procedure we explained in the previous lesson plus b over 2x minus 1 this means 2x minus 6 is equal to a into 2x minus 1 plus b into x plus 1 for a for finding a we are going to put the factor below it equal to 0 put x plus 1 equal to 0 this means x equal to minus 1 and this will give us 2 time minus 1 minus 6 equal to a into 2 time minus 1 minus 1 plus b into 0 so this gives us minus 8 equal to a into minus 3 so this means a is equal to 8 over 3 similarly for finding value of b similarly For b put the linear factor just below it equal to 0 and that linear factor is 2x minus 1 equal to 0 this means 2x equal to 1 or x is equal to 1 over 2 so if we name this subs this equation as equation 1 so we are going to substitute this value of x equal to 1 by 2 back in equation 1 substituting this value of x in equation 1 we get this is 2 time 1 by 2 minus 6 2 time 1 by 2 minus 6 equal to b a into 0 plus b into 1 by 2 plus 1 1 by 2 plus 1 so this will give us 1 minus 6 equal to b into 3 over 2 so minus 5 times 2 over 3 is equal to b this means value of b is minus 10 over 3 so b is equal to minus 10 over 3 substituting this value of a and b substituting value of a and b in equation 1 we get is 8 over so this was 2x minus 6 2x minus 6 over 
x plus 1 into 2x minus 1 2x minus 1 this is equal to the value of a was equal to 8 over 3 8 over 3 into x plus 1 minus 10 over 3 into 2x minus 1 so this is equation 1 and if we substitute this in equation 0 substituting in equation 0 we get the given rational expression which was 6x cube 6x cube plus 5x square plus 5x square minus 7 divided by 2x square plus x minus 1 2x square plus x minus 1 equal to that was 3x plus 1 so 3x plus 1 plus 8 over 3 into x plus 1 minus 10 over 3 into 2x minus 1. So this is the uh, partial fraction of the given rational expression. Let's do another example here. Example 2. Given expression. Given expression is x square over x square plus a square over x square plus b square into x square plus c square into x square plus d square. Apparently, it seems that all the factors in the denominator are not linear. But because only x square is appearing everywhere, there is no x or x cube or anything. So we can, in fact, substitute x square is equal to y. So we can suppose this. Suppose. So this will be equal to y plus a square divided by y plus b square into y plus c square into y plus d square equal to a divided by y plus b square into uh, plus b into y plus c square plus c over y plus d square. Now, this means y plus a square is equal to a into y plus c square into y plus d square plus b into y plus b square into y plus d square plus c into y plus b square into y plus c square. So for finding value of a, for finding a, put just the factor below it equal to 0, put y plus b square equal to 0. This means y equal to minus b square. And if we substitute y is equal to minus b square, this gives us minus b square 
plus a square equal to a into minus b square plus c square into minus b square plus d square because this factor y plus b square is present in the term involving b and the term involving c so both of them are going to become 0 plus c into 0 and this will be a equal to a square minus b square over c square minus b square into d square minus b square similarly similarly for b substitute substitute the factor below b equal to 0 and the factor below b is equal to y plus c square y plus c square equal to 0 means y is equal to minus c square so this is going to give us b equal to a square minus so this is this is a square minus c square a square minus c square over b square minus c square minus c square into d square minus c square and for c similarly similarly c is going to be equal to a square minus d square over b square minus d square into c square minus d square and now by substituting these values of a b and c substituting values of a b and c we get what we get is y plus a square y plus a square over y plus b square y plus b square into y plus c square into y plus d square equal to a over instead of a now we are going to put its value and a was equal to a square minus b square divided by c square minus b square divided by c square minus b square c square minus b square into d square minus b square minus b square into y plus b square y plus b square and for value of b we have a square minus c square this is plus plus this would be a square minus c square divided by b square minus c square into d square minus c square into y plus c square plus now we are going to substitute value of c so that would be a square minus d square divided by b square minus 
d square into c square minus d square into y plus d square and now we can replace y back to x square replacing y by x square again we get the required required partial fractions.